data moving forms are a simple way to create the user interface for editing or for displaying a set of fields. They offer standard a standard template for the overall appearance of the of the field set and uh, a standard template for uh, columns. However, both templates can be customized by the user. Moreover, data moving forms offers advanced editing features such as a undo reduce tech similar to the one used by text editors and uh, they can be used together with other items controls to provide master detail features for instance we can use a client form together with the grid to provide a detailed view of uh, its rows. Let's see how all this works with a simple example. This example is about uh, a, a, the interface to, to insert a post on a block. We can put the title of the, of the, the block here. My title the description here this is a description a date here oh I don't know here are some boolean fields publish okay then we uh, select some tags oh and then we can select categories with a dual select box this way then we can add some text here because blah 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 Okay, uh, the interesting, uh, the main interesting feature of uh, data moving forms when they are in uh, edit mode is the undo reduce stack. We can undo all steps we have done to all editing steps we have done. So let's go back. One step back, two, three, let it go back, and so then we can redo everything. So, and then we can, can do can go into display mode. Here all categories we insert here the text we we put in the in the in the text editor. We can do something more complex by putting something in bold or I don't know. Now as you can see this is in bold. And another interesting feature is the in, is the reset button. We can uh, associate to each each field uh, a reset value. This is used each time we click the reset button. Uh, obviously, 
each 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 data type is its default reset value. For instance, the reset value of the string is the empty string, and so on. Let's see what happens when we hit the reset button of this uh, of this form. Okay, as you can see, almost everything uh, has been uh, has been uh, has been reset. Ooh. The only thing that have no have not a, 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 a default reset value are the category because the default value of the category sp.net and uh, the default uh, value of the date is uh, is the today date and uh, default values of enable comments publish is uh, is uh, true well um the 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 code to obtain this uh, this uh, this result is quite simple the sum most of the columns that we see on the screen are uh, are default columns the post title is a default column the description is a default column the publish date is uh, is is not is custom because we inserted a reset a custom reset value into the the that date, um, date time picker these are custom columns and post tags is a, a default is a, a standard uh, default column and obviously the categories column is its uh, custom template and also the the column where we store the the post is uh, is its uh, uh, custom template that's all for uh, details about the code please refer to the companion tutorial of this video